What's happening, people? My name's Mike. This is Vintage Story. It's a Minecraft-esque game. Totally different, really, let's be honest. It's just visually similar. But the gameplay is totally different. It has four seasons. You have to deal with we hot weather, cold weather, all that good stuff. You have to manage your, your, your crops that you're planting. And wildlife will change over those time periods as well. So it's quite an in-depth game, actually. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a brand new world. And why don't we we'll get really creative with the name. It will be called Kells LP, eh? Super creative. Uh, we've got various different play styles. We're going to pick the standard. Uh, but we, m we may customise it ever so slightly. We're going to keep everything where it needs to be. But I hear that trees are very, very slow to grow. So I want to modify that. Let's just... 0.5 it make it faster yeah that seems good so we've bumped up tree growth I think everything else can be where it wants to be that's fine with me and let's rock and roll apply okay so bloody hell we've got some uh we're in some sort of bushes here that's a bit random but you do create a character in this game when you're starting out so Let's do that. I think that's pretty decent. Um, show dressed. Oh, we need to change the eye colour though. Go for green, eh? Why not? So this is our little geezer. And the class will have a commoner. It has no extra defining attributes. You can pick different uh, character classes. But we're not going to do that today. We're just going to stick with a base model commoner. Confirm. Okay. So where the hell am I? G oh, wow. What a start. You're absolutely... Wow. I can't believe that. Oh, I've actually never come across one of these. This is a trader. Um, which is amazing. Oh, my God. Can I... I've never seen one of these before. This is a bit of a mad start. Okay, cool. Wow, that is so cool. Let me just jump inside here and have a look, see what this geezer's all about. Okay, so we've spawned into the range straight away. Hello, Farhad. <laughs> Haven't seen you around here before. You just woke, wake up. Uh, I don't know what you mean. Uh, I don't know what you mean. You kind, your kind have been popping up like daisies across the land. Don't know where you're from. Don't know where you, what you're doing here. None of you seem keen to talk about it. My god, he's really noisy. Hmm, I wish I could be more helped, yeah. Uh, why gears? Okay, so that's the currency. Right, what does he say? So, I can buy storage vessels. Tapestries. Five crop. Interesting. And I can sell bits, but we're not going to sell nothing to him. Hey. Eh? Alright, so I don't necessarily possess these things. These are things he just wants to buy. Okay, cool. Right, we'll say goodbye to him for now. Very interesting. Now, seeing as he's, we found him, we're definitely going to mark that on the map straight away. So, there's some defined... There you go. Trader. Save. What kind of trader are you, actually? You're a... Artisan. Okay, well, that'll do for now. That's plenty. Peace out, home fry. Right, so we are up in the world. So first things first, we really want to just find... Just sort of get a lay of the land, you know what I mean? Um, and... We are going to want to improve our storage because starting out, the only storage we have is what you see in front here right now. We have no other storage. So in order to do that, we are going to want to find reeds, cattails. That's what they're called. So they're normally at a body of water. So we have some this way. So let's head south. Oh, and yeah, we'll grab some stones. 
so we can use this to start making tools eventually and sticks we need to keep an eye out on sticks you can get sticks by breaking some of these bushes there you go lovely jubbly Ooh, what's this? Red wine cap. Hmm. We need a knife though. So, and is it? We can't tell until we harvest it. Okay, I'm just going to mark that really quick. Bosh. Wine cap it was, what I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Nice. Okay, we can come back to that later. So yeah, that's a good tip starting out really. You want to be like marking food sources and stuff like that. But I can see some cat towels over here. There's a bit of food here as well. Um, let's see if we can nap a knife real quick. So I've got a singular piece of uh, flint. And you will need flint to do this. So with flint, shift, bang that down there. So then we want a knife, right? So knife blade, and it'll be this pattern. And we select another hard rock. We can start to knock it out. Lovely. Bosh. And then, if we want to craft that, we'll need a stick and the flint knife blade. Bosh. We have our first tool. So, this is probably useful. This. Let's get some grass. That'll come in handy. And also, why not get some of this food here? There we go, just got a little bit of food. So I'm going to eat that right out, the, right out the gate. And get these reeds. Okay, so these reeds are super useful. They're going to actually help us expand our inventory. So let's harvest all this up. Let's get this reed here. Hang on. There we go. Bosh. Just got a rooster over there. Not going to What's this? Cow parsley. I'm not really sure what we can do with cow parsley just yet. But let's grab some more of this stuff. Ah. Some more of this okay so now we can harvest this and let's see if it's actually good to eat uh, fresh yeah it is you know there's no negative HP markers so that's a good eat eater I believe no negative side effects all right we have a bunch of cat towels so let's get crafting so you press E and then we are going to want to grab our cat towels. This takes two apiece. Wow, the weather's awful, isn't it? First day round. And then... Oh, hang on a minute. That's not the recipe. Oh, you silly git. No, no, no. It is not as many as I thought we needed. That's the recipe. Bosh. Okay, great. So, we have one... See the two slots just opened up? Hell yeah. Now we have more. So that's how you do it. So we just need another cat towel. A few more cat towels and we can get some more of these on the go. So let's get that expanded out. Okay. Give me another one. So I'm not... A veteran of this game I'm really just starting out but you know what we can learn together can't we I did a little bit of research so I know a few bits and bobs but there's still a hell of a lot for me to learn and we'll get there eventually okay we've got a bit of a bit of uh, inventory space now which is really good we are gonna want to start thinking about food and sustainability so I'm going to eat these mushrooms real quick. And these cranberries. There you go. Check us out. Whoa. 
to do something. I'm banging around. There are bad things in. I think that's me crunching like a deer. Um, there are some bad things in the world that you need to watch out for. Bears, wolves, and at night some pretty horrific things come, come out. So you do need to be mindful. Um, I'm actually thinking, let's have a look at the map, right? I think, for now, we shouldn't worry too much or stress too much about location. This is a fairly safe area with access to water, trees and whatnot. Um, there's a little lake here which is quite healthy, helpful. Um, so let's, here you go. This is going to be our spot, I think. Right here. Sorted. So let's get something sort of situated. Flint shovel head. Let's do this, son. I'm just getting my life, son. And thank you very much. Right, there's our shovel. Check us out. So this is medium fertility soil and all. We're going to have to think about that next time we... That's low fertility. We'll have to think about that next time when we start to get some crops on the ground. Oh man, the thunder. Okay, this is going to be our little shack of sorts. Right, do you know what? We are going to need an axe because when darkness starts setting, it is going to get really dark. So, let's snap an axe head really quickly. Oh my god, I can hear wolves. Oh god. Do not come near me. Let's get this made really quickly. Oh dear. Right. We have an axe head. And tell you what, let's get the just get the tools going, eh? Uh spearhead. We need some form of defence, don't we? So this will give me the ability to throw the spear. Stab some things. Maybe these wolves. And I think they're close. I'm getting a bit worried, actually. Getting dark now. This is not good. Okay, we have an axe. Let's get some wood. Oh, God. I want the food. Oh, I did. That was the wrong button. Okay, that's a box. That's not a problem. Woo! get our first tree come on son it's that a lifetime oh, okay lovely check that out sticks logs oh yes I, I, I think we should get some more, just to be on the safe side. These howling wolves are unsettling me. We're going to need shelter as well. Oh man, just seems like so much to get achieved in one night. Let's see how far we can get this. Because um, we need a roof, right? Otherwise the rain's going to put out a fire that we're trying to build eventually. Okay, let's see what we can do. So if we have at least a little bit of shelter, that's something, right? That's too bloody low for my liking, though. Out of there. Okay, let's... Just to get started, I think it would be sensible to make some hay bales. Which is two. Yeah. And we're going to need three of them, I think. Make a bed. Lovely. Uh, so bed is as such. There we go. So that will help us sleep through the night. Uh, where should we have our bed? Let's put it here. There we go. Then I think I want to make some more. Actually, we've not got a lot of sticks. So let's keep it simple. We'll have 
We'll use hay to block the door away off because they're easy to break. Some of that. Alright, oh, it's getting real dark now, so we need to start thinking about fire. So, I'm going to stick my fire here. So, you need to put grass in your hand. We need, we need logs. So, in order to make logs, we take our axe and then we create some logs like such. Let's make a few. Right. Then shift, build that up. What am I doing? Am I adding more to that? Yeah, I can hear things outside. Okay, anyway, so how do you get this bad boy lit? We need to create a fire starter, which I believe is a couple of sticks. And that, there we go. Fire starter. Brilliant. Okay, brilliant. We're going to actually have some blooming light. So let's get this going. Bosh. Bosh. We have lights. Okay, so that will not last forever. Um, candles, however. Or torches. Are they known as torches? They do. They do. These torches will die out. But you know what? They will last a hell of a lot longer than the fire will. And I think we're going to need that through the night. So we'll make a couple of them. That's so good. Okay, brilliant. And then we can simply... We can simply... Ignite off of the fire, I believe. There we go. Oh, brilliant. Okay, let's just uh, plonk that on the wall. Oh, we're doing good. We're doing good. Okay, so I can start to relax a little, I think. So I think the smart thing to do is to just poke our nose out and see what we can grab. Uh, we could really do with some more cat towels. I don't think... Let's check... So we have um, the survival handbook. Let's just check what it takes to make a reed chest. So it takes a bunch of cattails. Okay, so that's what we need. So we could attempt to head out and grab some more of those. We've got to bear in mind we've not got loads of food. And there will be... I can't remember what they're called, actually. But there will be bad things out here, possibly. We have a singular spear. In fact, we'll probably run away because I don't... I don't particularly want to mess with anything out here. Oh, Lord. Okay, I, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, no, no. This is... We need to be sensible. Uh, we need to mark on the map where home is as well. So. Uh, let's just make it yellow. Home. And you know what? We're going to pin it so that we can always have it on our mini-map. Lovely. So we'll never lose track of home. A fire is going to go out. So, let's take the logs out of there. Oh, see, so check me out. We're get, I am getting I'm getting sensible. Right. I'm going to... I'm going to ignite this torch in the house. Because why not? Seems like, the, seems like a sensible thing to do, doesn't it? Let's sting it, stick it there so we don't... I just heard something bad then. I think we're alright. Right, let's try and free up some of the space here. So I'm going to have a storage of wood. Oh, I can hear bad things. Ugh. We're going to nip outside because we want to make the most of our time, don't we? Yeah? It is risky. It is risky. Oh, God. Okay, we just got hit by something. Not sure what. I cannot see much at all. And I need to be very careful because my torch will be extinguished in the bloody water. I think the best thing to do might be sleep the night away because visibility is limited. Aha! We have raids. Making moves. Right, I want some sticks.
Give me that raid. I'm going to learn the lingo soon. It's a cat towel. I will get there. Oh, my God. Uh, you get the hell out of my face, bro. Okay, everything's really nasty. So, we're going to just run for it before we die. Oh, my God. Okay. I'm just bricking it and running. So, home is over here. There she is. Oh. Scared the life out of me. It's just a pig. But like, they'll kill you if you're not prepared. And to be honest, it's too early for us to be messing with that. Whew. Okay, have I got any food? Not really. I oh, know. Oh, no. I've got something. What's that? Black currant. Mm. I'm hungry. I'm going to need to eat. Okay. Okay. Right, let's sleep the night away. Let's put our torch away. I don't know if putting it away will actually help preserve that, but let's try it anyway. See you in the morning. Ah. That's pretty cool.